Hey guys, what's up? Megan here and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some things that you can do every full moon to manifest the life that you desire and to align with the energy of the natural cycle of the moon. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. I post new videos every week and let's get right into it. So why even align with the cycle of the moon? You don't have to be into astrology or magic or anything spiritual in order to harness the energy and utilize the energy of the Earth's and the moon's natural cycles. The moon controls the tides and oceans, and as our bodies are 80% water, it's only natural that our bodies are affected by the cycle of the moon as well. If you've ever been fishing under the full moon, or if you've ever worked in the ER under the full moon, you'll know that the full moon does influence both human and natural behavior. The full moon is the peak of the moon's energetic cycle. There's normally an abundance of energy every full moon, so I'm going to show you how to channel that energy into productive ways, some rituals that can help you move your life forward. A full moon is normally a release because it's when the moon's at its brightest and it's going to slowly fade into the darkness of the new moon. The full moon is a good time to release things, whereas the new moon is a great time to manifest or set your intentions for the next month. In the spirit of releasing, the first thing I recommend you do every full moon is to cleanse your space. Get rid of any trash or boxes that have piled up. Remove any dead leaves from your plant. Physically clean your space to remove stagnant energy. And yes, you can smoke cleanse all you want, but if your space is cluttered and un motivating. There's only so much that some smoke can do, okay? You really just need to set some time every month to cleanse your space. And the full moon is a great time to mark your calendar and say, okay, I'm doing my monthly clean. You do not have to be into witchcraft or magic to set a point every month and to do these things. If you do all these things, they really will help you check in and move your life in whatever direction you want to move it. This full moon ritual idea is to make moon water. And how you make moon water is just like it sounds. You put water out under the full moon and leave it there all night. You can use whatever container you want. I generally recommend glass over plastic just because energetically, obviously glass is way cleaner than plastic, but if you just have a big old plastic pitcher, that works fine. You can use this water throughout the course of the next month to intensify anything that needs a little bit of full moon energy. You can add it to your bath. You can even make tea with it. I also like to add a little bit to my pet's water just to give him a little bit of a magical pick-me-up. Another great thing to do under the full moon is to charge your crystals. Just like the moon water, all you're doing when you charge your crystals is putting them out under the full moon, placing them near your altar. Whatever it is, they're going to be far more energetically valuable if you place them out under that. The full moon is a great time to banish or release anything that you don't want to bring into the next month. I recommend doing a releasing ritual every full moon. And what you do is you write whatever you want to release onto a sheet of paper and then you burn it. Do it somewhere safe, maybe supervised if you have a bad history with fire safety like I do. You can write a letter, you can just write, you know, anxiety, stress, anything you don't want to bring into the next month and either rip it up if you don't have somewhere safe to burn it or burn it. It's really helpful to create that physical manifestation of what you don't want to bring in and then to physically tear it up. Full moons are a great time to think of what you don't want to bring into the next few weeks of your life. I really don't recommend starting anything during the full moon. Normally the new moon's a better time to start something, but for example, if you're planning on quitting something, then it's a good idea to start that during the full moon, if that makes sense. I guess it's kind of a bit of a double negative. If there's any bad habit that you don't want to bring into the next few weeks, the full moon is a great time to stop whatever that is. Another ritual that you can do every full moon is to check in with your to-do list. The full moon is a very energetically charged time, so you might have the extra energy and motivation to check a couple things off your to-do list. It's also a great time to check in with whatever intentions you set, either the previous new moon or the previous month. It's a great time to check and see if you're on track, and if you're not on track, how you can maybe course correct moving forward over the next few weeks. The full moon is also a great time to work on something creative, to move any block or stuck energy. So I recommend 
painting or dancing, bonus points if you do it naked under the full moon, writing poetry, anything like that that really gets the juices flowing. Another great ritual you can do every full moon is to take a moon bath. And I actually have a full bath ritual guide that I'll link here. Basically, you take a very relaxing, meditative, and introspective bath. I recommend no Netflix. If you want to put maybe a guided meditation, that's fine, but generally just do a little bit of music, some dim lit candles. Really just let yourself fully relax and not focus on what you have to do next or maybe dwelling in the past and just relaxing into the bath. That's going to be a really cleansing and powerful ritual that you can do every full moon. The full moon is a very illuminating time. Sometimes the energy can leave us frustrated or a little bit moody in the full moon. So I recommend taking this time and utilizing it to do a little bit of shadow work. So what's shadow work? Shadow work is essentially working on any negative traits, thought patterns, beliefs, habits, actions, anything that is your shadow, you should be working on. We all have our shadows. We all have our wounds that we need to heal. So the full moon is a great time to work on those. If you've noticed that some people tend to be more reactive, maybe more negative, that's because they haven't done any of that inner work to try to improve themselves. If you're watching this video, you're probably the type that likes to work on themselves and improve and develop the self so that you can grow and be the best version of yourself because that's all we can be. And you can do this by meditating on a certain topic or journaling. So I post new and full moon journaling prompts every month that are specific to each month. I'll go ahead and give you some journaling prompts for shadow work that you can just do every full moon. So some journaling questions are, three things I need to release to move forward are, one thing holding me back is, what habit can I improve over the next few weeks? What relationships do I need to banish from my life? In what area of my life do I feel stagnant? Another ritual I recommend doing under the full moon is doing a moon gazing meditation. So that is basically either looking through a window or going outside and like it said, just stare at the moon for a couple minutes. It's a great way to recalibrate your frequency and align yourself with that bright energy of the full moon. Things might come up during a moon meditation that are a little unusual. Sometimes when we give our subconscious a little space to breathe, it will surprise us with some things or answers that we might not have realized. I hope you enjoyed this full moon ritual guide. Full moons are a great time to work on yourself and harness that magical energy of the bright full moon. You can do any of these practices within about 72 hours of the full moon and receive all of the benefit. Let me know in the comments below if you have any full moon rituals that I haven't mentioned here. I post specific full and new moon ritual guides every month, so I'll link the most recent one here and I would love for you to check those out and stick around, subscribe. And on that note, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.